We're in, out here in front of the Detroit City County building on Friday. Uh, it's, it's a noon demonstration called by the Detroit Retirees Association, and we're here interviewing some of the retirees about these crimes against them. So, what's your name? My name is Don Shelton. I'm uh, 31 years with the city of Detroit. What union? Uh, what union? Uh, the, the, uh, the street and sanitation. Okay. Yeah. So tell us why you're here. I'm here to, to help protect our pension and our health care and all the other things that, that we deserve, that we worked for, and that we stood for, and our, our governor is trying to take it away from us. We already done taxed our, our pensions already. I'm losing $40 a month, now they gonna to take more. I can't stand to lose no more, because I served and worked for my, what, I, what I earned, and I deserve it. I wish everyone else would take and stand up for what, we, what, what is really worth to us, our families and what we work for, and the young generation that's coming on. Thank you very much. And I'm here with? Fred A. Westbrook, Jr. I'm the president of Local 26. I represent the fine and women who drive the bus for the city of Detroit. Oh, well, that's wonderful. They're some of the very best people in the city, working hard every day, I know. Why are you out here today? Well, I'm out here today to uh, support the retirees because one day I will be a retiree. And it's a travesty to think that someone uh, will try to go to court and take away pensions to take away health care and, and the things that these retirees worked for for over 30 years. They was promised this. It's in the state constitution that they deserve it. And for someone as a governor of the state to go against their own, his own constitution to try to take money from these people, it's, it's, it's a shame. And, and I'm, I'm here to fight with them. I'm here to fight for them. And we will not stop. We will not stop this fight until we have victory. Great. Well, thank you so much. And with us, I have David Soule, retired after 22 years at the Water Department. Okay. And um, why are you out here today? We've called upon retirees, active city workers, and all people living in the city to be out here in the streets, not just today, but in the future, to protect our city, our pensions, our jobs, and our services. This is a criminal conspiracy by the banks and their puppet, Kevin Orr, to grab the pension funds and sell off the assets. They've already listed in their bankruptcy proceedings that the pensions are unsecured. But we worked 30 years, 20 years for those pensions. Money was put aside specifically to pay that. We're, we didn't invest in bonds like some people did, trick the city into high interest loans, let the banks suffer the loss. Cancel the debt. Then there'd be plenty of money. They all admit there's plenty of money, but Orr's job is to make sure the banks are paid in full. Um, and we're out here in, in complete solidarity with the retirees and the workers that are demonstrating today. We think that they also, there should be no cuts in pensions. One of the questions that keeps coming up is over this constitutional guarantee of pensions. That, uh, and I thought maybe you could tell us a little bit more about that. Well, the state, it's very clear, the state constitution uh, guarantees the pensions. So it should be, that's it. But Orr has gone, and the reason he filed for bankruptcy is because there's five to seven billion dollars in those pension funds. And the pension funds, despite what Orr says, are well funded. It's been like that for many decades. And they want to grab it. Who is they? The Wall Street bankers. And Orr is working. So when he went into federal court, the judge can overrule state constitution, or at least thinks he can. And we don't trust the judges. We don't trust the courts. And that's why we're telling people, remember how we won civil rights. Remember how we won unions. We fought in the streets for it. And we're going to have to do whatever it takes. Sit in, protest, picket, disrupt, whatever it takes to make them make it clear to them that they can't have those funds without a huge fight. So we're calling on all retirees to get involved, all city employees and all people who live in the city. And let's be clear, it's not just Detroit. If they get away with it here, it's a test case for the whole country. That's right, I, and that's why we're here. And I mean, the man behind the camera, Al, is a GM retiree. I'm a Ford retiree. We understand an attack on any retiree's pensions threatens everyone's pensions. I mean, that's so obvious, and yet there's not enough retirees out here. There's tens of thousands of them in, in southeast Michigan. And we are here with? 
Walter now, Walter Gary now. And, and Walter, where are, where did you retire from? I retire from the health department from the city of Detroit. Okay. How many years did you work? Uh, over 31 and a half years. And why are you out here today? I'm out here to uh, protect my business because I need the money to help finish paying for my kids going to school and, and for my own health survival. Okay, um, how, have, what have you been doing to help make this demonstration happen today? I've been, uh, I, I, I uh, helped uh, print some flyers and I also uh, uh, help organize uh, this, this, uh, this, this demonstration. Right. Did you go yesterday to the Detroit retirees uh, luncheon? Uh, at yes, I did. And uh, there were uh, close to a thousand people there. And, and I passed out the uh, flyers there as well. And did you talk to people at the different tables? What was their sentiment about what's happening with the uh, cuts to their pensions? There's their sentiment. Uh, well, the uh, people I talked with were more concerned about what's going to happen to them. What about their health care? What about uh, uh, the, their money that, that they uh, uh, that they're entitled to? They were very. They were nervous, weren't they? Yes, very nervous. Yes. And very upset. Isn't that amazing, people, that we have a country that will take uh, older people, people who finally have worked their whole lives, and at the very end of that uh, working period, when they're ready to retire, make them incredibly nervous and upset by threatening to take away their money? What kind of civilization is this? Well, I just feel that Snyder and Orr uh, only wants the, the people to work, uh, 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 to work, uh, put their service in and then die off. They don't need uh, a retirement. What what a statement, Walter. I, th I think you've said it. <laughs> Thanks so much for stopping by. Okay. I, I am going to fight this to the end. And we're with you 100%, brother, 100%. Thank you. Thanks for stopping. Okay.